Hey everyone, DDub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Civ 3 World War 2. Okay, um, I've been thinking about this quite a bit, and I'm not entirely certain what the right move is. So, let me see here. I think what I need to do is wipe out some roads. Okay. Uh, let me let me make sure that I've got this right. So I'm trying to... The German Panzers, there's too many of them. I don't think there's anything I can do to keep them from taking Strasbourg. But I might be able to keep them from getting any further. I'm, I'm worried about the Russians, but I think I'm going to give them one more turn. And see if they don't try and kill everything. You guys retreat. Everyone wake up in here. Everyone just retreat to Paris. Just real quick. Now we can move from there if we need to. G's. Oh man, that's a lot of Soviet tanks. And even if I go to war with them right now, I really hope they're all leaving. Okay, so we're gonna kill these guys here. over here, you I'm going to use to do something very specific. You're just going to do this. Okay, so I need to essentially make this useless to them, for now at least, which I plan to do by sealing it off. One of the reasons that uh, Brest was going to be my position to hold... Oh, they keep on zone of controlling me. That's what's hurting us. I probably could kill them all here now first, but whatever. There. Um. So basically, my plan is we take out all the roads. That way, whatever the Russians do, the Germans cannot reach any further than this one city. We should be protected now against Russian attack. If the Russians chose to attack any of these two cities, these Soviet tanks would take them. And frankly, this entire mass could probably take Paris if it really wanted to. But, I mean, let me see here. That's a lot of Matildas, so also maybe not. It would be very difficult. And the Germans don't have that many Yonkers. But I don't know what the Soviets are really doing. It could just be weird AI path. If they actually move further up towards Brest and they don't go to war this turn, I will likely have no choice but to launch a preemptive strike before they get close enough to do some real hefty damage. If I can catch them in the middle of all these forests, that might be for the best. Then they won't be able to get out. But if they if that was just because they were still moving in the direction of Spain on their turn, so this turn. They stop. All's well. I'll be fine. I don't want to have to watch them all move again, but I think the intelligence is worth it at this point. Yeah, that Bismarck's out of range. I don't think we're going to be able to get it.
can just heal up for now. Um, I can't recall. Did I check for subs out here? Okay, there are some. I can use them for this too. If we can take out the German Panzers, the majority of them, I think we will have essentially guaranteed our own victory here in Europe. But you know, that's a tall order. Um, okay. So, we're gonna wanna take out this road, this road. Let me, let me just get started here. Essentially, we need the forests to act as a wall. comes from Strasbourg now. If the Russians cleared off entirely, he could hop... Oh, wait a minute. No, we need to take out this one, too. Which I think is going to take two bombs, because we'll have to destroy the fortress, and then the road. Oh. Just that? We're going to take out that fortress, too. Only because he's the only thing that's going to make use of it. There we go. Okay. So, that should seal it up pretty nicely. No matter what he does or how he moves, a panzer can only get to here at best and then be stuck anyway. Everything else is going to consume all their movement. And then we can get them. If they're going to move in on us, I'm assuming they're either going to congregate on this hill, if they can, or this forest here. And now it's just on the Russians for what they're going to do. And if I can get all the Germans to wait here a turn, I can probably take them out. Hopefully. I don't like abandoning cities, but I don't really have a choice. I think I might give it to the Americans. Let me see here. Cities. Oh, there it is. You want that? Take that. That might have been a mistake. What if he goes to war with Russia on his own? go to Cavieri, actually. I may need every Spitfire, too, just to use them as close bomber support. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get everyone under cover. Sorry. Fortify them. Wake all of them. Okay. Who do I have here? So I got British Infantry, Matilda, South Inf Okay. This works. It's not ideal. But you guys can just start landing. I have a Matilda. We'll be on a hill. So even if I don't have proper bomber support right away... I don't think the computer is going to be gutsy enough to attack. And it would be smart not to. If that thing starts bombing Cagliari, it might be annoying, but I'm not sure that it will. After it attacks, it'll probably start retreating to Gibraltar, and since it's got 8 movement, it'll be well on its way to actually getting there. And then next turn, the closest city will either be Tunis or Algiers, so it might attack that instead. I guess we'll see. I 
just sort of have to prepare for everything at this point. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I 100% don't trust the Russians. Right. I've been so caught up with everything. I've been... Uh, forgetting everything else. Okay, well... See if I can't guarantee the taking of this city next turn. Uh, let's use an Anzac. Okay, yeah, I have plenty of black burns, so that, that thing should be taken. getting really good bombing so far. Decided to finally kick them out of this place. Take the entire mainland back from them. It's the big sort of victory that I've never seen actually happen. I've also never seen in one of these games any of the major Allied or Axis powers wiped out. I've never seen a single Axis power wiped out. I've never even seen Belgium or the Netherlands wiped out, although I've gotten very close myself. And when I, I specify those two, because that means I certainly have not seen France, Britain, or the U.S. wiped out. I have destroyed all of Persia, which is not that big a deal. Ah. It's got air support. I'm assuming we just took it out. Yeah. Here is there. I think the last one was back here. something weird like draft three guys and rush them into that city. I don't think they actually can do that. Pretty sure that's more of a communist thing, but it'd be pretty funny if they just turned into an absolute nightmare that the Germans had trouble dislodging. I don't even know if they're going to do that, though. No matter what they do, there's nothing they can do to actually hold on to the city. Uh, the German army is simply too powerful. That was entirely too close.
Can I just fortify one? Didn't want to do that. Here. Um. May have to wait till next turn. I have more Lancasters here, right? Okay, that's out of their reach. Get Bomb a Yamato. Try to sink this. Okay, basically, though, we're going to have to wait till next turn. So, all of you guys that are left, just move up there. I have two wounded Lancasters. Oh, he's already fortified. Okay. They might flee into that city to take harbor, but I think I may have already destroyed its harbor, which means they might prefer to go to a different one. We'll see. Knowing the computer, he's gonna try to preserve these things no matter what happens, so... Best to just take them out while I do have a bigger chance. So this city is kind of the worst choice I could have picked to put these in. It's the one place where they can't hit every city in Manchuria or Korea. They're one square away, both of them. with the rest of them. I think if these Lancasters want to take out a Yamato, we have to do very well on our bombings. things like that to happen if we want to sink it. Swordfish are only bombers. They're not like a combination fighter bomber or anything like that. I wonder why they're allowed to observe. I wonder why Blenheims are. But realistically speaking, every plane should be able to. I'm not sure what sets like specific bombers apart from actually good bombers. It's sort of weird. moment we're done with Japan, I'm probably going to leave a handful of them here, and then take the rest and fly them to Europe. 
because even if Germany is still a major threat by the time we're done with these guys, which they probably will be, um, even if they're not, I'm still going to need these Lancasters for Russia, because the bulk of their military is over there. I don't see it leaving. Really need to get that road finished, too. Should be able to take that next turn. Right, you can garrison here for now. I will go ahead. Well, the Gurkhas can't actually take this thing in one turn. And it puts them at risk. Nah, you guys just move with the stack. You guys can move this turn. Two deserts left in Johannesburg. You just go here. Yeah, unless I'm wrong, and I don't think I am, Germany should be completely unable to go anywhere. And the Russians can only attack Paris with this sort of super force. I think the only city... Well, they, they could probably take Lyon if they really wanted to, and either Bordeaux or Toulouse, but probably not both. No. No, they've got enough here to take both. First Crusader. Really hope they have Blitz. When I go to war with the Russians, I am going to need it. If they don't, I might just build more cruisers. Specifically for that reason. Let's just build a big road out this direction, because why not? My workers are just having fun in Canada now. Russia does go to war with us, they're immediately going to go to war with everyone else, too. Which definitely means that they're going to 
take all of Persia right away. And then probably smack Damascus around. Which puts us in a very precarious situation in the Middle East. India too, but India I can defend a little better because of how good the reduction is over there. It's pretty bad in the Middle East. It would be much worse over in the Asian side if... Uh, we hadn't already dealt with the Japanese problem on the mainland. I find myself never having enough Matildas, though. If the computer is Britain, the moment it gets Matildas, it's put one to three in every single city that it can because the computer can afford it. It's worth doing. Like, that, it makes their cities way harder to take. I think it's what Germany would do if they had that many Panzer III Hs or the ability to get them. Those things are annoying to build, though, and they're trying to build other things, too, because I keep taking out whatever it is that they do make. I make bombers, I shoot them down. I make fighters, I draw them out and bomb them into, into pieces. Things like that. And it just prevents them from getting ahead. Free up that Anzac. Oh yeah, go ahead and move there. anything else to do here. America's gonna lose that. I don't think I have to do anything in Georgetown. Just annoying Brazil's walking around. Being their usual annoying self. We're poised to take both of those next turn. I can move my fleet. Where is it? Here. Okay, um, one... Two, three, four, five, six. Man, they can reach out pretty far, can't they? One, two, three, four, five. There you go, let's go up here for now. Oh, great. I'll wake y'all next turn. That should keep us out of range of Yamatos, right? So, yeah, definitely should. At least until I can get my Lancasters properly down here. And then once we take this, I can start pushing into the mainland. I'm going to need to use my Spitfires, but we can do it. And then I just need to hurry and wipe them out. If we go to war with Russia fast, I might not have these, I might not have this yet, but I want to have the rest. I think there's another sub that's too close yet. No. Alright. Let's go to next turn. is pretty frequently. My nose is giving me a little trouble this morning. 
That's gonna hurt. I could send out British militia and help kill them. So, I did consider just abandoning all of those cities in France and retreating to Brest. I, I would not consider that an ideal situation. Uh, for one, I lose out on all of those cities I just took if I do that. They, they afford me a lot more maneuverability, which I like. It would probably help me take care of this Russian problem, because the Russians would not be able to close in all around us. They definitely couldn't take one city that all of my guys were in, and I'm not sure they'd even try. But I'm not certain all of the Germans would come pouring into it at once either, and it just seems like a lot of unnecessary losses if I can just have them take Strasbourg. Even if I piled every Matilda I had into that city, I wasn't sure that we could hold it. Not under a direct assault from those things. He's got a lot of them. I mean, there's like 40 of them that, I, that were in that stack or whatnot. I've got a dozen Matildas at best. He's going to take them all out if he wants to. Maybe not if they were all in Paris. Paris has 44 people in it. That brings them up to like a 40 defense. But everywhere else, though... Yeah, you have no chance. And probably not even in Paris. If it really comes down to it, and I don't think we can defeat him, we are going to have to fall back to Strasbourg. But I don't see that happening. It, it really is up to the Russians. I would, under most circumstances, attack them right now, but I don't think I could take both groups at the same time. Especially not while they're helping each other out with rites of passage. It basically means if I declare war on Russia, they're one of the Axis. It's gonna have to happen eventually. I just prefer it happen after Germany's military has been thrashed. Which it has not yet. I haven't even taken a single actual native German city yet. So he seems to be moving some people south to go intercept, I'm assuming those Brazilians, but then everyone else is still moving up to the the deadly frozen north. Yeah, I have no idea what he's doing. I just wish he'd stop bothering me about it. Someone is building those. I'm pretty sure America does not start with with more than like one of those at best. Most countries start with one or two cavalry divisions, but I, I don't think America is one of them. Even if they are, they don't start with this many, so... He's literally building cavalry and sending them off to the north. a Yamato nearby, he's going to start sinking those. I'm curious where it's planning to attack, though. If we do go to war with Russia, I'm signing a rite of passage with them. Yeah, that's what I figured. That makes sense. It's a forest with a fortress on it. 
on this way if it looks like I can't get rid of his, uh, his stacks by the time we get there. Oof. That must be an SS. Um, if I can't get rid of all of his stacks, by the time my turn is done, we're going to pull out of Verdun and do the same thing. Because, again, it will take him a full turn to get out of there. No, it won't. Verdun only... That is planes. So he would still have a movement. The real answer is, let's beat him here. I need to see what, what Russia's going to do first. If Russia goes to war with us, we're going to be in a very tricky situation. Oh man, it's so many. I really do have to hit them with everything I've got. Including every single Spitfire I can muster. This stack right here, this is Germany. This is the Germany that we've been afraid of. And you know, they can't get away from us either. Like everywhere they try to retreat. Well, they, they can make it into Strasbourg, actually. But they can only barely make it in there. I'm not even sure I have enough Lancasters here to even equal this number of tanks. Alright, those guys go first. They're not on a fortress. Oh, goodness. He's got... He's gonna build two stacks. Okay, okay. That's a lot. Uh, ooh, I did not even notice that guy. Well, there goes my other Belfast. Oh, well. All I need you guys to do is keep those Yamatos busy for, for a little while until I'm done with Japan. I should probably kick China out, but I want to take that city first so I can be sure they're actually kicked out. Is Italy not going to... Italy is not going to even respond to those guys who I just landed on, on their island. It's annoying to watch all of these, but the fact that they're going away makes me feel better, not worse. Like I've said, they would want to go to war with me, probably. I'm just hoping that the war with uh, with Turkey gets them a little more focused on that instead. If any of them move further into France, though, then I know what their intentions are. Assuming they don't go to war the moment that they move further into France, which they might do. Okay. That's good. It also means Germany can't use that avenue to attack us. Those hills and plains. And that until Russia's cleared out, I should probably just... Leave Strasbourg alone. Because it'll be very inconvenient to move around. I wonder if I wipe out all of its defenders. I wonder if I can get Russia to take it from them. That'd spark a war that would devastate both of their remaining militaries. Although, by the time if I'm able to do that, Germany's military will probably already be devastated. Who knows, if I get his guys down to manageable numbers, I might just pile all of my Matildas into her dump. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to keep his guys in Spain. Which I would have liked to do, but... If he 
can't seal them off. There's nothing much else that you can do. I really should have bombed out those roads when uh, when it was still Spain. Although I think by the time I got down here, Russia was already there, right? So I wasn't really able to. Pretty risky there for a minute. I was getting getting ready to just start waging all out war with them. So I can wipe out that stack on the forest. The one on the fortress is gonna be much harder. Those tanks have a higher defense because of the fortress. But I'm assuming it's mostly three G's. So it's not as bad as it would be if they were uh, three H's. Between my Lancasters, my Spitfires, and whatever attacking units I have, I'm hoping to at least heavily damage everyone in that stack. Or most of them. And then pile up whatever defenses I'm able to, and we're done. And that, that should keep it out of German hands. And then I'm not going to look over here again, but I just had to be sure on what the Russians were doing. Better not declare war on Portugal and just all of them come back. That'd be really annoying. You know, this is really bad. I just realized they can build transports in Spain. Which will let them invade other people from here. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. and you try to bomb, say, Cleon from Cagliari, and there are fighters in, Stra or in Marseille, I feel like they should be able to intercept at Marseille, because your bombers have to fly overhead. I'm not sure. That'd be real complicated for the game to work out, but it, it should not be this whole, uh, like, you can kind of bomb anything, and as long as there's no fighters in that city alone, you can reach it without error. Okay, so they're moving up there because there's a pathway there of multiple planes that they can go right through, I think. Okay, so that those guys must be trying to reach Spain to act as garrisons and free up tanks. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. If you people want to go to war over a couple of minor French cities, you can, and I will decimate what you have. They better do it fast, though, because by the time I'm done with Germany's tanks, there will be no other threat but them. And my Lancasters will be enough. He's sending in cavalry. Why?
Alright, is that all of them? More Canada infantry. Awesome. France. Oh no, those are Germany. No, the French are somehow saying stop the aggression too. I don't know what your people's deal is. I can build escort carriers. I didn't know that. I didn't think anyone could build those. I thought they were only auto-produced by America. This thing can produce a lion class in 14 turns. It's not bad. It's not great, but it isn't bad. Marketplaces do a, a lot of work to keep people from rioting. Ah, the manufacturing plant here is done. Baghdad might be online pretty soon. two turns away. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually do this whole turn, but I do want to try part of it. I really don't think they need more Lancasters there. We need them over here. why I put a fighter here. Oh, he probably flew in from another spot. Okay, so those are all three G's. Three G's, three E's. Motorized infantry. Oh, that was just an infantry there. Okay. I don't see any three H's. There are none. Okay, that's good news. into Strasbourg and in the air with one turn. If they could, they would have done it with 109 Fs to counteract what I'm doing now.
that's not great bombings. It's gonna be even worse on this stack. What is the defense on a 3G? It's 16. So yeah, it's definitely higher than that infantry. And this is most of his, well, probably not even most, but it's a lot of his 3Gs. it has got 60, 40 of them? I need to, I want to check real quick. Oh, he's built more 88s. Great. I have a few Spitfires in the air. 46. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. So he's got almost 60 tanks total, something around there. Between 3Gs and 3Gs, 12 and 46. He's almost got 60. Which I think means this is almost everything right here. Should have destroyed that fortress just so they couldn't use it like this. Live and learn. This is sort of a, a perfect encapsulation of Britain versus Germany, too. Superior bombers versus superior tanks. The tanks were, and the subs were, really gave Germany the edge in pretty much every encounter. Or what really gave them the edge in the war. Their subs just caught everyone off guard. Their, their tanks and their infantry, frankly, were just so competent and well put together that they were very difficult for anyone to have any chance against. Wearing down his stock of healthy tanks. I'm just not sure I have enough to actually exact any casualties. do I have? That's a lot, but it's not enough. through the three G's, we're fighting three E's now. Not sure.
I think now we're on a three piece. Hold on, let me check something. Are Halifaxes here? No, where are the Halifaxes? That's a Bristol. Those are Fireflies. That's a Mosquito. I got Halifaxes, didn't I? Oh, there it is. So Bombard's 38, Operation Range of 15. They cost 340 to make. Okay, they're more expensive than Lancasters, never mind. Why would they be more expensive than Lancasters? I was thinking maybe some of my cities that can't produce Lancasters very well can produce lesser bombers that are also very good. But for some reason those are even more expensive. I think they do have lethal bombard, but they don't have the, the range that Lancasters do, so. It's pretty definitive on who's better. Yeah, so I definitely don't have enough Lancasters here to actually kill them. And I moved them out of there. Which was probably the smart move. Okay, so that's everything. Got a lot of four hit pointers. I think we can hold the city. Excellent. All of Korea is ours. target that's even close to as important though, so we're gonna take it. Why 
is everyone missing? Here, kick out the tank at least. not this hard. Thank you. Okay. I have enough guys to deal with that. I'd like to move them over there, but we gotta take him out. My bombings have not been going well this turn. Ah, there's another one in there. Well, he doesn't have any bombers or any fighters here, so I'm going to move all of my Spitfires out. Lancasters can keep pounding this thing. all of his bombers to Kagoshima and we'll take them all out.
Well, I think that's it for plane movement. Um, I don't really have... I have other things that I gotta do, even though I do want to continue. Things are really ramping up, so... I'm gonna pull out most of the... Yeah, Paris is no longer in any direct danger, so I'm gonna take out, like... All ma but maybe one Matilda, just in case something does happen. Like, I'll leave the wounded one there. Every other one is flooding into Verdun. And I'm gonna hit them with my Valentines and cruisers and infantry and whatever it takes to try and beat this stack down more. And if I can get them... Like, we're, we're gonna hold this city. I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that we're gonna hold this city. I do not like the Russians still rolling on through, but it looks like they're not being aggressive towards us yet. And they still do have to take Istanbul, which is a super annoying job. And currently, they're real, really blocking off a lot of uh, other German advances that they could try. Like, the Germans move first, so if they try to retreat, they can't use this square, which means they cannot get into Strasbourg in one turn. They're going to have to go to this, or this. This one would be just fine. It's not within two spaces of either city. So as long as they don't have fighters up in here yet, which they might, but I have lots of Spitfires. If they retreat here, with this stack, I can still get them and probably take them all out that turn. This stack is dead. They have nowhere to go. And then Russia will move and do whatever they're going to do. But essentially, they're, they're really blocking the Germans right now. I don't know exactly how many this is. Oh, let's see. Okay, so this is most of their three E's. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's nine of their three E's. Okay, probably between like like 20 to 30 Panzer 3 Gs, and then some more in here. So, so we're looking at probably 33 Gs or so. And about nine of their three Es. So that will knock them down to just over like a dozen 3 Gs. Somewhere around there. And only a couple 3 Es. Once we're done here. And they don't have any 3 Hs left. They've only got the one Bismarck still, and they've got a couple of 88s that they've just built. What are they still looking like on Messerschmitt? Are they still building more of those things? 88. Oh yeah, they're, that's all that they're building. They're building a lot of Messerschmitts. Trying to reinforce their inner cities, which makes sense. I, I would do that. Okay. On my turn, next time I play, I'm going to have to remember to, to deal with that sub so I don't forget it this time either. And let's wake up. Well, no, not you guys. Awake the transported. Okay. So the next turn or next episode, I'll start working on all that stuff. We'll be kind of halfway through a turn, but it'll be the exciting part because all the bombing is done. And well, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.